88 million Sing dollars is going into developing next generation aircraft engineering as Nanyang Technological University and Rolls Royce extend their research partnership for another five years. The next phase will look into safer, more efficient, and sustainable air travel. Gwyneth Tio tells us more. From propulsion to engine design, Half the projects in the second phase of research will look at how to get a hybrid electric aircraft off the ground. Rolls-Royce intends to conduct speed trials within a year and said the technology could take off in 8 to 10 years. The aircraft will be more energy efficient and will help to reduce carbon emissions. The other half of research projects will focus on how Industry 4.0 applications can improve aircraft performance. And what is developed here could also impact other industries. One of our other large corporate labs is with HP, which we just opened about seven months ago. Now, HP is not a competitor to Rolls-Royce. They don't make aircraft engines, but HP is also interested in machine learning, artificial intelligence, digital manufacturing, all of which Rolls-Royce is also interested in. So what we can do and is that bring them together on our campus in their areas of common interest so that there is a multiplier effect. Deputy Prime Minister Heng Sui Kiet said he was glad to see R&D investments still going strong despite uncertainty in the economy. Commercial research has in fact shifted over the last few years. More companies are now using open source innovation and working with the best researchers around the world rather than relying on just in-house research. Academics are now more keen to partner with industry. This has led to better and faster translation of basic research into innovative solutions. Rolls-Royce at NTU was the first such corporate lab in Singapore. In its first five years, more than 10 technologies developed by researchers have been applied to the industry and will be exported to Rolls-Royce's other plants around the world. We've taken things down from weeks to seconds, genuinely. I mean, it can be absolutely stunning. Um, not everything is like that, but, but often we, we will take something where it requires two or three people a day, we can take that down to an hour for one person. That's, that happens routinely. The second tranche of investment is larger than the first phase, which cost 75 million Singapore dollars. Rolls-Royce said the investment in NTU is its largest with universities.